In the beginning, there was just a vast emptiness known as Ginninga Gap, which separated the Kingdom of Fire of Muspelheim from Niflheim, the icy land of mist. The icy mist of Niflheim continued to fill the void of Ginninga Gap and formed a large ice block. When the temperature in Muspelheim began to increase, the heat emanated from the Kingdom of Fire started to melt the great icy stone. Inside of the ice, Ymir began to emerge. A primitive divinity who was hibernating inside the ice. Already defrosted, Ymir continued to sleep. But the heat of Muspelheim made the colossal creature sweat, and the first living beings sprouted from this perspiration. Ymir was not the only one who emerged from the ice melting. A large cow named Aldombla also emerged, and from its tits flowed four rivers that fed Ymir. The cow fed itself by licking a block of salty ice, and from the eaten ice a new creature emerged. This was Buri, the progenitor of the gods, giving rise to Jotnar. Buri coupled with the giantess, and they both generated Bor, who in turn, with the giantess Besla, brought to Odin, Vili, and Ve to the world. Odin and his brothers lived frustrated in the emptiness of Ginnungagap. The sky and the earth were not a reality yet, nor the sea and the forest. The brothers decided that something would have to be done, and only after Ymir's death, they were able to start the world as we know it. Odin, Vili, and Ve attacked and killed the giant Ymir. The oceans were born from the spilled blood. Firm land emerged from Ymir's flesh, and his large bones were piled up, giving rise to the chains of mountains. Ymir's flesh had small larvae, which originated dwarves who would live under the earth, and the noble elves who had their dwelling in Alfheim. After having shaped Midgard, the gods thought it could not remain an uninhabited kingdom, and Seeing two trunks on the edge of the ocean, decided that this material would create mankind. A man called Ask and a woman called Embla were molded. Olden gave them life, Villa intelligence, and Ve carved their eyes, ears, and mouth, and so the men could hear, see, and speak. All human beings are descendants of this first couple, and for having given life to the first couple, Odin is known as the father of all. Finally, the brothers created the kingdom of Asgard, which would become the dwelling of the gods. This kingdom was separated from the others, connected only by the Bifrost Bridge. And so the reign of the gods over the world began.